Technologic360. Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Technologic360, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade from Windows 7 to, to Windows 8 step by step. Alright, so I'm going to be using the Windows 8 Upgrade Assistant. Now, after you run it, it's going to tell you which apps are compatible. So we we'll click next, and it's going to just make sure everything is ready. And, you know ready for that I want to keep all my Windows settings personal files and apps so I'm gonna click next and I'm gonna order it I want to get the 2 gig digital download for $40 click next um, it's just gonna set up for to pay again put your info billing address whatever you want to pay for and I'm gonna show you how to get Windows 8 for $15 okay well $14.99 one penny all right let's go to the internet and type in Windows upgrade offer .com or search it on Google then let's go to North America and get United States and I was gonna tell you that you had to buy a PC and then get Windows 8 Pro for $15 I bought my Windows PC on September and the upgrade the offer wasn't there so I just kinda tweak the dates put your, the, your real information just tweak the dates to to show that it's you know whatever and it's gonna they're gonna send you an email again this is my promo code I'm gonna copy it and show you that this is not fake. Just tweak the dates, guys. It, it should work. It should be. I mean, that's what I did, and it worked pretty fine for me. All right, so I'm gonna show you that it actually works. That I'm not lying. That this is not a prank. Um, and that's really one of the reasons why I'm updating to Windows 8. Fifteen dollars. Again, right here, fifteen dollars. You see that? It's pretty cheap. Uh, I think that's a pretty good deal from forty dollars. So. And anyway, forty dollars it really is not that expensive. All right, so now it's gonna download download Windows 8, and depending on your internet speed, it's gonna take an hour, thirty minutes, whatever. All right, now we get back. It's gonna get files ready. It's gonna keep running stuff. It's gonna take maybe a couple five to ten minutes while this gets done. So now it's gonna ask you whether you wanna install Windows 8 right now or later. Save it to your desktop. Um, there's no reason why I shouldn't upgrade so I'm gonna click install now again it's gonna get things file ready uh, make sure that the app there's enough it gets the latest updates for Windows 8 so after it gets a few things ready it's gonna come with the license term and agreement um, nobody reads this so I'm gonna click next and make sure you're ready to install again which this thing takes forever now if you had problems before which you have to uninstall some apps now I, it tells me what I need to do right now. I need to uninstall this app and plug in my power adapter. I'm gonna plug it in and then install this and then I'll get back real quick. After you've done whatever you had to do, you click restart and it's gonna restart your computer to to um, continue the upgrade process. And the cool thing is that when you get in, it already knows that you we're installing Windows 8. So it's gonna continue whatever you were doing. Click next, click continue, whatever. And now we're getting we're getting a few things ready, which it always does. Anyway, I think this should be the last screen that you have to go through. Ready to install? Ready? You see that? I click next and it's going to install, you know, whatever. So now you have to wait about 20 minutes or so for this thing to be ready to go. Uh, well, not, not in this screen, the full thing. Uh, so after it shuts down and it restarts, then you have to wait about 20 minutes. Hello? Now you're gonna see the, the new the new Windows 8 logo, and then on the bottom you're just gonna see getting things ready, prepping, installing apps, whatever things, and whatever. After you've done some wait, it's gonna ask you through to go through the process. So now you can choose uh, through the personalized, and you can choose your color, which I think is pretty cool. Which is whatever you want your background. And I want to get this color right here. Now then you can send into a wireless account or wireless internet. Uh, I don't have a router, so I'm gonna choose uh, skip and settings. I don't want to mess with the settings right now, so everything is just basic. So I'm gonna click Express and send it into your PC. Don't worry if you get this. If you had a password in Windows 7, this is what you're gonna get. You had to sign in with the same password for Windows 7. It's not like a new uh, number that you have, that you have to input. It's just the same password that you had before. So don't worry about that. After you've done so, just click Next. And now it's gonna ask you for a Windows account, uh, whether Hotmail, Live, um, you know, whatever things, Xbox. Um, so I already have a Hotmail, and there's no reason why you shouldn't input it. You need it for the Windows Store, you know, to download apps and stuff and updates and whatever things. 
If you don't have one, you can create one from this screen or you can skip it. You can do it later. You have to do it now. I'm going to do it now because there's no reason why not. So um, after you put it in, input it, just click next. Um, now it's going to check with the account and you got to type in your password so you can log it in. So after you done your password, just click next and it's going to find all the settings. It's going to hi, welcome screen, get things ready. Um, after you get this, um, you're going to see the very, very basic, 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 basic Windows 8 thing, which is the corners. And this is the, I think one of the biggest thing on Windows 8 is the corners that now you can search through the corners or, you know, start things. You know, and after getting things ready for so long, it's still getting things ready, getting things ready. And it's, oh. anyway, now let's start and da -da -da -da! you get Windows 8. Anyway, uh, this is Windows 8. I hope you, you guys like, no, like the video. Um, this is, again, the very basic things. I will be making an extreme test and review and the very basic things that you need to know about Windows 8. So stay tuned for that. Okay guys, thank you for watching. If you like this video, make sure to click the click that like button and subscribe and like me on Facebook. Also, if you have any piece of technology, game, software, or anything else that you want me to talk about, make sure to put a comment down below and message me. With that said, I'm not a god, I do make mistakes, so don't come back telling me that I said something wrong and you want to kill me. Okay, my technologites, see you on the next video.